hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite go-to combinations for cleansing and conditioning my hair and that's using baking soda as shampoo an apple cider vinegar rinse and rice water as conditioner so if you're interested keep on watching if you're not already subscribed hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever i post a new video all right let's hop right into it so baking soda is absolutely amazing at cleansing the scalp and I like to use this mainly before I straighten my hair because it does such a great job at cleansing my scalp that it helps my straight hair last longer. So this shampoo is really easy to make. All you need is two teaspoons of baking soda. You want to make sure you dilute the baking soda properly so I go ahead and put eight to nine tablespoons of water and I mix the two to make a watery thin paste. Baking soda has a pH of nine so make sure to never use baking soda by itself on your scalp because it can be extremely abrasive and irritate your scalp and damage your hair. When shampooing your hair with baking soda, you must always, always, always use a apple cider vinegar as a rinse. And you do this to return your pH level back to a 4 or 5, which is normal for your scalp. Since your scalp has a natural pH level of a 5, that means that your scalp is slightly acidic. The acidity level is important because it keeps the cuticle layer of your hair flat and closed and which all basically means that it will keep your hair shiny, smooth and soft and have less frizz. So if you do not use apple cider vinegar after the baking soda shampoo, your hair will be extremely frizzy and dry. So apple cider vinegar is about a 3 in pH level, so you have to dilute it as well. And when you dilute it, that will make it as close to your normal acidity of your scalp as possible. And apple cider vinegar is amazing for your hair as well. It has tons of nutrition that are beneficial for your hair. It also is great at exfoliating your scalp. And it also stimulates hair growth by increasing the blood circulation to your hair follicles. So I use one part apple cider vinegar and three parts water. So about three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar and nine teaspoons of water. Mix that together and you have your rinse. And for conditioner, I'm gonna be using rice water and I just recently made a video showing you how I make my rice water. So I will link that video down below in the description box as well as on the screen so you can see exactly how to make it. Okay, so to use the baking soda shampoo, I basically just apply it to my roots. I do this on dry hair and I will go ahead and massage the shampoo all over my scalp. And I do not leave this shampoo in my hair longer than three minutes. Okay, so on to the apple cider vinegar rinse. I like to just dump this all over my hair, focusing on the roots and the scalp area where I put the baking soda shampoo. I like to massage the apple cider vinegar into my hair and then rinse out after three minutes. now on to conditioning so i'm going to be using rice water my rice water spray to condition my hair and basically all i do is just spray this water onto my hair and go ahead and detangle my hair i was getting a lot of questions in my previous video about rice water and yes sometimes i leave it in my hair sometimes i rinse it out my hair I don't leave it in my hair longer than 24 hours when I have my hair naturally curly. 
I, I co-wash my hair a lot. So I'm constantly, you know, wetting it and in the shower. So I never leave it in longer than 24 hours. Personally, my hair doesn't have any problems doing that. But if you have a problem doing that, then don't do it. And as far as the smell, the smell does not start to get bad until about day five. So when that occurs, I just go ahead and mix some essential oils with the rice water. And that will make the smell more pleasant. Um, and also always keep the rice water refrigerated. So I just go ahead and detangle my hair and put it in twist. And yeah, that is how I prep my hair before I straighten it. This is definitely one of my favorite shampoo, rinse, conditioner, treatment combos that I have tried when it comes to strengthening the hair. It also makes the straightening process a lot easier, like a whole lot easier, you guys. So after I put my hair in twists, I usually let my hair air dry overnight and then I will go ahead and blow dry and straighten my hair the next day. So yeah, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give me a huge thumbs up if you did. If you're not already subscribed, hit the subscribe button down below so you can be notified whenever I post a new video and hit the bell so the notifications will come straight to your phone. You can follow me on any of my social media at Mary MJ Hampton and I will see you guys next time. Bye!